Hi, I'm Slacker Scott. Not lazy, not cheap, efficient, and thrifty. And this is the bed slash couch bench uh, building tutorial video. This project cost me about $500. Um, it's about $100 for the drawer slide um, that um, converts the couch to a bed. It's about $180 for the four inch foam trifold mattress that I got. Then about $120 in plywood, um, another $20 in stain. But all together you're looking at just under $500. The part of the bench I'm currently sitting on is four feet wide and then three feet deep. And then um, there's a part of the bench that slides out another three feet to give you a full six feet of bed space. Um, it's also 52 inches here to here. Um, and so it's enough for a full size bed, exactly. Um, right now I'm sitting on one fold of a tri-fold mattress and the other two folds are back here. Right now it is in couch mode. It slings up against the back doors here. We have our bedding just rolled up so that when we put it into bed mode, um, we can pop that up there and just unroll it and the bed will be made and ready to go. I'm a musician and so the biggest thing I needed to store under the couch slash bed um, bench would be musical instruments. So almost all of the access to underneath here is coming from the back because musical instruments tend to take up a lot of space um, and so there's no front access to underneath the bench um, but you could easily adapt that for your design if you needed um, if you wanted to have some cubbies up front that pulled out from underneath the bench i have my bench sitting about 17 and a half inches off the ground which is just enough space for me not to feel too squished with my head um, up in the ceiling so i'm about 5 11. Um, so if whatever however tall you are um, Definitely consider that when you're making your bench. Here is the couch slash bed bench. It is 36 by 48 inches wide, 36 this way and 48. 48 fits in just between the wheel wells and 36 is the front and the back space that I have between the hook right here where the back seats fold up and hook into if you wanted to have the back seats in and where the doors will still close. This bench is primarily made out of three different pieces of wood. This top piece is 36 by 48. I knew that most of the weight would be sitting on this plywood so I got the thickest ones I could find but then I also attached an angle iron, just a 45 degree piece of aluminum and I've attached that with metal screws just so that way it can carry a little bit of the flex of the bed. So there's a piece here, and then there's a piece here in the back, and I put that on before I attached it to the side pieces here, so that way it can sit here in this gap. Then the second main part to this bed slash couch bench is the side pieces. They are 15 inches by 36, and they are attached to some pocket holes right into the top here. I actually built the whole thing turned upside down. Then the very bottom has a two by four runner on it, which gives it a little bit more strength. It allows it to flange out so that I can put a bolt down into the already supplied hole that the transit connects come with. And that's what's anchoring this whole thing to the van. So it's just two really easy bolts. And there's holes cut out on either side so that I can stick my hand in and unbolt it. And these bolts right here are what the bed slash bench um, is all anchored to. I grabbed a longer bolt the same size, but um, this will fit through the two by four runners um, that I have attached to the bottom of the bed bench combo. And then we'll be able to secure it to the van. Then when you wanna put this in bed mode, there is a part that folds out in the front and I'll show you that. All right, so when you want to put the bench into bed mode, you simply just pull out here and this will slide out the extra 36 inches to put it into bed mode. And if you're standing up here in the well, you can get it to pull out all the way there. This piece is 36 inches deep and it is 45 inches wide. Um, the plywood legs on the side were three quarters of an inch, so the two of them make 1.5 inches and then each of the drawer sliders that I got are also three quarters of an inch for another 1.5 inches or three inches total of space smaller. Um, this frame here underneath it is framed out with two by twos. 
There's one two by two running across here, and there's two two by twos running back there. I don't have any two by twos in the very back because that would make the space that I could fit stuff between the floor and the top of the bench um, an inch and a half to two inches shorter. And I have some specific instruments and amplifiers that need the full clearance I have back there. The drawer slide hinges I got were from Amazon and they're rated to hold 450 pounds, which is perfect for a couple and to slide out 36 inches, which is perfect for this bed. It gives you six inches of space, which is a full-size bed, and that full-size bed fits perfectly between here. Um, it overhangs a little bit on the sides, um, but normally you're not sleeping that close to the edge, so it doesn't really affect the way that the bed sleeps. So that's the bed slash couch conversion. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment, I'll try to answer them. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to make it better, definitely let me know that too. Next time we're gonna look at the overhead storage above the passenger and driver's seat. And until then, take it easy.